welcome to this week's video if you are new here i'm madeline for this week's video i am going to be cleaning up my closet i've been seeing a lot of videos on tiktok about plato's closet and i figured i should just sell my clothes to make some extra money because why not i have so many clothes this is my brother's old room if you guys haven't seen my room transformation go check it out As it seems. i've taken over this closet right behind me and then the closet in my other room which i'm usually filming in and I have so many clothes and I don't need all of them and I don't wear all of them so why not make a little extra cash I'm going to make a donate pile and then a play-doh's closet pile but let's get into it <laughs> this part these are like all of like my t-shirts as you can see they are color coded and i'm just gonna like do like the marie kondo method i haven't read that book it's like the whole organization book that like everyone talks about the basic philosophy behind it is you pick up an item or something and if it doesn't make you happy or bring you joy then you thank it and then you let it go that is what i'm going to be doing most of these t-shirts i don't wear you see just finished the top row so we're going on to the bottom row which is like tank tops like long like pants not jeans and skirts i have so many shirts so many like tank tops that i just don't wear anymore all done the little bottom part i literally got rid of so many things we're moving on to this side of the closet this is where i have like all my underwear and like t-shirts i have so many t-shirts it's time to get rid of all of them because i have like t-shirts that i wear like out and then i have t-shirts that i wear at night because i don't really have like pajamas like i just wear like t-shirts to bed we will attempt to get rid of some because i don't need them all there is no reason for me to have 30 t-shirts I'm done with the t-shirts and there's like a little like hanging shelf thing on my door so I want to organize that I have like my leggings in there my gym shorts and stuff and like sweatshirts so I'm gonna like move the sweatshirts from like the top of my closet into this since now I've cleared out the t-shirts and then I also need to go through this one too this has like all of my sleeping shorts in it okay I feel like this is a lot more work than I like anticipated but I'm really trying. <laughs> At the bottom of like my dresses and stuff, I have like more sweatshirts because like t-shirts, I have a problem with sweatshirts. I have so many of them and I just always want to buy them even though I only end up wearing the same sweatshirt. <music> Done with the sweatshirts. I know, I know I keep giving like these like little updates, but that is what's happening right in this corner right here i have like winter dresses and stuff because in the other room i have all my summer dresses and all of that i definitely don't wear a lot of black dresses for my old job i would have to wear only black clothing and since i'm no longer working there screw black i hate black black is not a cute color it's not a cute look for me clearly i don't like black because black is colorless and i like color let's get rid of all that <laughs> For the absolute hardest part of all of this, I am going through my jean shorts. I got some shorts the other day at Goodwill. They were literally brand new, price tag still on them. I don't know why more people don't go to Goodwill. I literally got everything for $20 and I got four things. $20, okay? I hate most of these jean shorts. I just wear them in the summer because I have nothing else to wear. I'm trying to expand my style palette, trying to have a better sense of style. I got best dressed in high school, but I just think that's because everyone just wore sweatpants. Let's do these jean shorts. Honestly, some of them are from Charlotte Russe, so if that says anything, Charlotte Russe is literally closed. It's like the justice, but for like high schoolers. But I got these shorts in middle school, so I don't, never mind. <laughs> I want to head over to the other closet and quickly go through some of my dresses that I have over there because I know I have a few dresses that I just need to get rid of but that's pretty much all the clothes that I really have in that closet the rest is just like sweaters that like I actually do wear so let's go do that real quick <laughs> <laughs> 
and then we'll come back over here and sort everything. Over here on the bed, I have all the t-shirts and the dresses, and then down on the floor is literally everything else. The farthest away from me with the red on top right over here, that is the definite donate pile, and everything else is going to Plato's closet. I have all the hangers that I took from all the clothes. All of my clothes that I'm getting rid of were not on hangers, but these are all of them that were. So many hangers, I can't wait to count how many. Moving on to the next step. Now that I've cleaned out everything, we are going to cut the tags off of all the clothes. Plato's Closet knows if the clothes are in style because of the little tags that are on it, like those long annoying tags that like kind of bother you right here. So I'm going to be cutting all of those tags off because I don't want them to know if it's in season or not because they might not accept it and like that's not fair. Like some of these clothes are like super super cute, but like they're not in season. But I still wear them. I wear clothes from like the 70s and like vintage clothes like those aren't in season but they're still really cute honestly about the person's style so let's start cutting the tags off i have folded everything and taken the tags off of everything now i'm going to put them in bags and count everything just finished counting all the clothes and putting them in bags i also counted the hangers for a total of 37 hangers and 59 clothes i literally got rid of 59 clothes it literally took four four huge shopping bags i'm going on to plato's closet on tuesday today is sunday i hope this goes well and i'll let you guys know oh, we are at plato's closet it's right behind us michael your head's like being cut off you know what <laughs> i look weird this is talking. all the time <laughs> okay so we're ever in the frame we're at plato's closet we have four big shopping bags with us we're gonna go see if they are selling and then we have a few more stops just to be clear, it's all her stuff. Yes, it is all mine. <laughs> hey, Michael, you ready? I just got like hit by a car. Michael, explain what just happened in the parking lot. So, yeah, when we pulled up the Plato's closet to pick up her stuff, right, there's a man and he's just dancing there to no music. And like, he's sticking his middle finger up too. Oh, uh, was he? I didn't even yeah. notice that. That's news to me, right? So weird. And like, his outfit was not on point. I don't know what he was wearing. <laughs> but next thing you know, like, He's like a couple cars over from us. We come back out with the stuff and like he's just next to my car. Like right next to it. Just standing there and I'm like, this man's definitely a crackhead. Like he's gonna eat my face. He's gonna eat my He was really big too. Yeah, and like he had an iPhone, so I was just like, why is he just like talking on the phone like for like it was, it, was, it, was, so it, was, it was so weird. We just got out of Plato's closet after waiting for a little bit. We went and got lunch and stuff. I gave them 64 pieces all together and they took 15 items for a total of $37, which is ridiculous. And they said that stuff was worn, which was true for some things, but in one of the bags that they gave back to me, I literally wore that thing once. We're just gonna keep going to play this closet until I like eventually get rid of it. But that's it. That's my video. <laughs> I don't think it was very successful, but at least I got rid of like a quarter. Not even a quarter. Plato's closet sponsors. Literally. I'll see if my next Plato's closet experience is better. So I'm not singing a song. What can we sing?